A reading from 1 Kings. Now Ahab told Jezebel everything Elijah had done, and how he had killed all the prophets with the sword. So Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah to say, May the gods deal with me, be it ever so severely, if by this time tomorrow I do not make your life like that of one of them. Elijah was afraid and ran for his life. When he came to Beersheba in Judah, he left a servant there, while he himself went a day's journey into the desert. He came to a broom tree, sat down under it, and prayed that he might die. I have had enough, O Most High, he said. Take my life. I am no better than my ancestors. Then he lay down under the tree and fell asleep. At once an angel touched him and said, Get up and eat. He looked around, and there by his head was a cake of bread baked over hot coals and a jar of water. He ate and drank, and then lay down again. The angel of the Most High came back a second time and touched him and said, Get up and eat, for the journey is too much for you. So he got up and ate and drank. Strengthened by that food, he traveled forty days and forty nights until he reached Horeb, the mountain of God. At Horeb, the mountain of God, Elijah went into a cave and spent the night. And the word of the Most High came to him, What are you doing here, Elijah? He replied, I have been very zealous for the Most High God Almighty. The Israelites have rejected your covenant, broken down your altars, and put your prophets to death with the sword. I am the only one left, and now they are trying to kill me too. The Most High said, Go out and stand on the mountain in the presence of the Most High, for the Most High is about to pass by. Then a great and powerful wind tore the mountains apart and shattered the rocks before the Most High but the Most High was not in the wind. After the wind there was an earthquake, but the Most High was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake came a fire, but the Most High was not in the fire. And after the fire came a gentle whisper. When Elijah heard it, he put his cloak over his face and went out and stood at the mouth of the cave. Then a voice said to him, What are you doing here, Elijah? He replied, I have been very zealous for the Most High God Almighty. The Israelites have rejected your covenant, broken down your altars, and put your prophets to death with the sword. I am the only one left, and now they are trying to kill me too. The Most High said to Elijah, Go back the way you came, and go to the desert of Damascus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the book of Psalms. Psalms 42 and 43 As the deer longs for the water brooks, so longs my soul for you, O God. My soul is a thirst for God, a thirst for the living God. When shall I come to appear before the presence of God? My tears have been my food day and night, while all day long they say to me, Where now is your God? I pour out my soul when I think on these things, how I went with the multitude and led them into the house of God, with the voice of praise and thanksgiving among those who keep holy day. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? Put your trust in God, for I will yet give thanks to him who is the help of my countenance and my God. My soul is heavy within me, therefore I will remember you from the land of Jordan and from the peak of Mizar among the heights of Hermon. One deep calls to another in the noise of your cataracts. All your rapids and floods have gone over me. The Lord grants his loving kindness in the daytime. In the night, su night season his song is with me a prayer to the God of my life. I will say to the God of my strength, why have you forgotten me? And why do I go so heavily while the enemy oppresses me? While my bones are being broken, my enemies mock me to my face. All day long they mock me and say to me, where now is your God? Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? 
and why are you so disquieted within me? Put your trust in God, for I will yet give thanks to him who is the help of my countenance and my God. Give judgment for me, O God, and defend my cause against an ungodly people. Deliver me from the deceitful and the wicked, for you are the God of my strength. Why have you put me from you? And why do I go so heavily while the enemy oppresses me? Send out your light and your truth that they may lead me and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling, that I may go to the altar of God, to the God of my joy and gladness. And on my harp I will give thanks to you, O God, my God. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? Put your trust in God, for I will yet give thanks to him, who is the help of my countenance and my God. The word of the Lord. The um, second reading this morning is from Galatians. Before this faith came, we were held prisoners by the law, locked up until faith should be revealed. So the law was put in charge to lead us to Christ that we might be justified by faith. Now that faith has come. We are no longer under the supervision of the law. You are all sons and daughters of God through faith in Christ Jesus. For all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourself with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. If you belong to Christ, then you are Abram's seed and heirs according to the promise. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. They sailed to the region of the Gerasenes, which is across the lake from Galilee. When Jesus stepped ashore, he was met by a demon-possessed man from the town. For a long time, this man had not worn clothes or lived in a house but had lived in the tombs. When he saw Jesus, he cried out and fell at his feet, shouting at the top of his voice, What do you want with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I beg you, don't torture me. For Jesus had commanded the evil spirit to come out of the man. Many times it had seized him, and though he was chained hand and foot and kept under guard, he had broken his chains and had been driven by the demon into solitary places. Jesus asked him, What is your name? Legion, he replied, because many demons had gone into him. And they begged him repeatedly not to order them to go into the abyss. A large herd of pigs was feeding there on the hillside. The demons begged at Jesus to let them go into them, and he gave them permission. When the demons came out of the man, they went into the pigs, and the herd rushed down the steep bank into the lake and was drowned. When those tending the pigs saw what had happened, they ran off and reported this in the town and countryside. And the people went out to see what had happened. When they came to Jesus, they found the man from whom the demons had gone out, sitting at Jesus' feet, dressed and in his right mind. And they were afraid. Those who had seen it told the people how the demon-possessed man had been cured. Then all the people of the region of the Gerasenes asked Jesus to leave them, because they were overcome with fear. So he got into the boat 
and left. The man from whom the demons had gone out begged to go with him, but Jesus sent him away saying, Return home and tell how much God has done for you. So the man went away and told all over town how much Jesus had done for him. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 